English. Hello kids, happy Sabbath. It's time for a children's story. But before I begin my, my story, I would like you to say the memory verse with me. It's found in Hebrews 13 verse 16. Are you ready? It says, do not neglect to do good. Do not neglect to do good. And to share what you have. And to share what you have. For such sacrifices are pleasing to God. For such sacrifices are pleasing, pleasing to, to God. God. That's found in Hebrews 13 verse 16. Okay, who likes watermelons? Me. I know. Okay, I know who loves watermelons. I love watermelons. I actually love those uh, juicy fruits. Any juicy fruits like uh, mangoes, oranges, grapes, what else? Grapefruit. Grapefruit. Yeah, all those kinds of fruits. Yeah. Well, who likes gardening? Maybe maybe you say you're saying no, no way. I kind of understand that because when I was a kid, I didn't like gardening at first. I learned to love it later. Well, my story is about a boy who had the same age as school. Let's call this boy name. Um, the the boy's name was Daniel. Well, this boy loves watermelons. When it's watermelon season, every day he would ask his dad to buy one. One day his dad uh, bought a huge one. When you say huge, it's probably a lot bigger than this. So Daniel was so happy, he quickly got uh, the knife. Let's pretend this is the knife for the watermelon. And he said, slice, slice, slice. Uh, can you do that again, cool? Slice, slice, slice. Yes, exactly like that. So his dad started slicing uh, the big watermelon. But Daniel had five siblings. He had four brothers and a sister. But Daniel was just so happy because his dad brought a big one. So that means, that means Daniel gets to have a big slice today. Yeah? So Daniel quickly ate his part. It was... So red, so sweet, so juicy, yeah? But after he finished his slice of watermelon, he was looking at those slices in the, in the tray and wanted to get another one. And his dad noticed it and said, Oh dear, you have your part already, but don't worry, tomorrow I'll buy you a new one. I'll buy another one, yeah? So, since you love watermelon so much, his dad said, why don't you gather all those good seeds and try growing them in our yard? Daniel thought it's a good idea. So, he immediately gathered those good seeds and uh, his dad helped help him dry them, wash them, dry them under the sun. And at the end of the day, he had a lot of seeds ready for sowing. Well, can you imagine how many seeds can be taken from this fruit? Cool. 50? 50, maybe more than that. A lot of seeds from this fruit. Yeah? So, so the next day, Daniel got up so early and started, you know, digging. Uh, using a trowel, digging, making hills, and sowing the seeds and water them. And after a few days, the watermelon started growing. Daniel watered them every day. He really tried to take care of them every day. And um, they grow so fast and cover the whole yard. To make this story short, the watermelon began flowering. And he realized how beautiful the flowers were. The butterflies came, you know, when there's a lot of flowers, the butterflies came and started bearing fruits. Then the watermelons, watermelons were ready to harvest. So Daniel and his family enjoyed the fruits. They were as big, red, juicy as the watermelon they ate before. 
and Daniel um, decided to share some of the fruits to his um, neighbors, to his friends, to his relatives, and you know, he was admired, he got praised, and even the, he gave one to the elderly, and the elderly said, oh dear, I pray that someday you will grow up to be a good servant of God, something like that. He was, um, he felt so blessed. People were admiring him because of the, um, um, the gesture he, he showed to, to his neighbors and friends. Well, you can do it too. I know things have been very tough this time. Uh, you can't just go anywhere because of the coronavirus. Um, most of the time you're at home. You're probably bored of watching the same TV shows. But why don't you do something like this? If you try making cards and think of people, and um, in this card you color them, write Bible verses, and give it to your friends and neighbors so they will know that you're, you're thinking. You're thinking about them. Or your little hands can do like this. So around me are interplants. So we call them interplants because they, uh, they grow well in um, like this inside the house. And they actually get rid of those bad stuff in the air. So you have the clean air at home. You can enjoy the clean air at home. So all you need to do is you need some pots, some soil. Just get a part of, for example, this kind of indoor plant. It's really, really easy. Just get one stem, then transplant it. And in a few weeks, you will have like this. And if you have uh, grown a lot of um, indoor plants at home, you might as well share it to your relatives, your friends. Maybe you could uh, put your cards there and I'm sure they will be happy and God will be pleased. Okay? So, think about that. So I hope you are blessed with the story and um, I would like cool to to pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for everything you've done for us. Please, please remind us not to forget about to do good and, and to share. And please let this message help us become better people. And thank you. Please um, continue to help us through this pandemic. And thank you for everything you've done for us. Please, um, please forgive our sins and thoughts and deeds and words because we have done some bad and stuff. And thank you for everything you've done for us. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Enjoy the rest of the Sabbath, guys.